Chris, you have been working with financial institutions for many years now, helping them solve data management challenges. Tell me what are the latest challenges that they have. So uh, the pressures are the same, which is integrating data across the organization to gain customer 360 views or integrating data across the organization to satisfy regulatory demands. Um, the fundamentals are really simple, is that when they're aggregating information, when they're trying to gain these single views across that data from these distinct silos, they need to be able to govern that data and maintain the security of the upstream systems. That's really, really important. There's been a lot of high-level breaches in the news, security risks, breaches, all that kind of good stuff, or bad stuff, should I say, which is highlighted at, at, a, at a data integration level as the governance needs to be better. Uh, but that's something that we're really good at. We already have really, really solid governance features within MarkLogic. But um, you're going to show us some of those now, and, and we've got some new stuff coming as well, right? Yeah, so here I have our development interface for the Data Hub. And I'm doing a customer 360. And I want to share this customers to the different users of the application. So I have this entity here, which is the customer. And I define the attributes. And there are three pieces of information that I think are important and shouldn't be exposed to every user in the financial institution. Simply by clicking here in this locker, I define this. So I want to show you a little bit the information that I'm harmonizing here. It's a customer 360. I'm going to show a little bit what happens once you harmonize. So we have information coming from multiple countries. That's the concept here in this example. And I'm harmonizing everything towards this entity, which is the customer. But as you can see here, here I have all the information about the customer. The example that I'll give now is depending on the end user, they will see or not all the information about the customer. So the entity would be, a lot of people refer to it as like the golden record at this point, right? This is what people, the consumers, expect to see. It has meaning to them, right? Precisely. But different users in that institution may have different needs. So a manager, that's my example here, I'm running up query as a manager, who is doing customer onboarding and need to ensure that all the information is there known your customer, many regulation around this, should see all the information. So here, as a response from the query, I got the entire entity. I get all information about the customer. But imagine a clerk that is just doing simpler work that is not required to see, for instance, a social security number for US customers or even the customer name. So when I run the same query, I receive only the pieces of information that are required for this user to perform the task. And this is enforced at the core of the database, and we have been doing this for many years. Showed here how simple it is now to set it up as part of your curation and harmonization process. So this is a, is a great example of how MarkLogic's mature fe uh, features make data integration simple. Um, but this is just a touch of what we are capable of doing. And if you'd like to know more about MarkLogic security and governance features, uh, then come to MarkLogic World this year and you can come to Sat Macau's session and see more.